Good afternoon and welcome to the next short video in the Ahargana series. In the last tutorial, we had gone to the surface of the moon and we had seen the sun rise and set. And we observed that a lunar day is equal to approximately 14 days, 18 hours of earth time. In this tutorial, I am going to bring you back to the surface of the earth. We are back in Bangalore observing the moon. I have zoomed in on the moon so that the moon fills the screen and I will draw your attention to the topography of the moon. So these fairly blank spaces that you see are called seas. It's presumed that at some point in time there might have been water there, there might have been oceans. This is the sea of tranquility in which Apollo 11 landed and Armstrong, Neil Armstrong took the one small step for mankind. And this is the south pole of the moon where Chandrayaan 3 has landed. And the spot where Chandrayaan 3 landed has been named as Shiv Shakti by our Prime Minister. Up here you see a small mountain chain that is called the Apennines. This small thing is a crater and that is called Eratosthenes and this big crater is called Copernicus. And I am going to focus this episode on Copernicus because it is easily identifiable. Now, you can see that Copernicus is standing right now at this moment in time on the line between night and day. So, either the sun is setting or the sun is rising on Copernicus. And I am going to show you in a moment that this is really sunrise at Copernicus on the 25th August 2023 at 5 p.m. Earth time, which means that if you were standing in the crater of Copernicus, you would see the sunrise. Or as the Surya Siddhanta would put it very stylistically, if our ancestors, our Pitrus were residing in Copernicus, they would see the sunrise at this point in time. So I am going to roll the animation now. Keep your eye on this crater. Now, clearly you can see this was sunrise because it is now bright and sunny at Copernicus. And let us now wait and watch as to when the sun sets on Copernicus. But how do we identify when the sun sets on Copernicus? That would be exactly the same way as we identified sunrise because as you can already see, the darkness is approaching from here. Night is beginning to approach. It's already covered the sea of tranquility. It's approaching the Apennines. It's approaching Eratosthenes. And it has reached Copernicus. So this is sunset on Copernicus and that is on 9th September 2023 at 11 a.m. Earth time. So one lunar day is approximately 14.75 Earth days, which is pretty much the same figure we got in the previous tutorial also, 14 days and 18 hours. And this is what ISRO has been telling us that there will be 14 continuous days of sunlight, but they were talking about the South Pole, whereas I have illustrated that to you using this crater, Copernicus. Now, the reason I did this video is that here you can see clearly the darkness and the brightness, night and day, and these are nothing but Shukla Paksha and Krishna Paksha. Shukla means silvery, the brightness, and Krishna is black, is the darkness. So you can clearly see now that one day time, daylight period is one paksha on the surface of the moon that played out in front of your eyes during this video. And that is exactly what Surya Siddhanta also says. Our ancestors who reside on the moon 
see the sun for one paksha. And that was written 1600 years back. Think about it. And as you keep thinking about it, I'm going to close this video here. Thank you very much for watching.